take over the city, yeah, baby. Follow my lead, everybody get ready. All my girls are with me tonight. Let's turn it up now. Hey guys, this is Jamie with Out of Bounds with Jamie and Abby. Today we have Maddie and Tay with us. And we're so excited about this. Yes. We are pumped. They are a female country duo with multiple number one hits, a loyal fan base, and a household name in Nashville, really. Aww. Congratulations. You guys have had a great journey, and we're excited to talk about it. Oh, thank yes. you. So sweet. What an intro. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> blushing. <laughs> it has been a crazy journey, but I would not trade it for the world. <laughs> a blessed one for sure. Sometimes yes. we just like look at our life and think, how in the world did we get here? And then there's some days when you're like stranded on a broken bus in the middle of nowhere and you're like, how did Why we get here? I? You know? <laughs> so. Start us at kind of the beginning of your relationship. I know you guys did not grow up together, right? But you met in a kind of a crazy way. Yes. So we were both going to a vocal coach. Um, he had a place in Dallas, Texas and Houston, Texas. And I'm from a town close to Houston. Um, and so I was going when I was 15 to go just see if I even like my family always thought I could sing, but I think it's different when you go to like a professional. He was not a professional by any means, yeah. but you know, <laughs> stepping stones. Um, and so Tay grew up in Oklahoma and she was going to his Dallas location. Mm -hmm. So he kind of introduced us and we hit it off as friends. Initially, we had really similar interests in like artists and music that we loved and albums and songwriting and Tay hadn't really started writing songs yet and I had kind of started that and taught myself guitar and all that and I was like well you should come to Nashville with me because you'd love it and just the songwriting process and so really once we got in the writing room together for the first time in 2010 oh my gosh yes yeah that's 11 crazy. years ago mm, that's um, nuts it that's Wait, how old? So you guys were in high school? Yeah, I was 15 at the time. I like went through my freshman year, but by the time we had met, I was like, I am done with this school yeah. business because <laughs> we were traveling back and forth to Nashville every yeah. other weekend. And, and to be fair, the school system was very different where she was from than it was. Yeah, like, I was given yeah. lots of resources. We had choir. She had nothing. Not at even her no band. Nothing. No nothing. Oh, it was really? no band. Yeah, there was about forty people in each in my class. No kidding. So yeah. like you didn't. It's tiny. Of course you wouldn't want to go to school if there's not like a no. no. So no. I just yeah. wanted to pour all of my time into of music course. and and. That's yeah, that was the best yeah. option how, for me. How old were y'all whenever y'all decided? I mean, I know you said at 15 y'all started doing that. Yeah. But how old were you as children when you were like, oh, mm. th this potentially could happen? It was, I've never thought or wanted anything other than music. It's kind of, it's only a God thing. That's the only way I wow. can know how to describe I love that. it. Since I literally came into life on this mm -hmm. earth side, it was like music, music, music. I was... Um, fifth grade actually they had a career day at school uh -huh. and I came home and I was so upset because I was like mom they didn't have an option to be a singer like what the heck and my uh. mom was like well you know <laughs> you don't really go to college for that and so I was like perfect I'm not going to college and it was <laughs> that day that I decided and always I always knew I'd end up here yeah oh, that's wow. incredible it did yeah. your family sing like parents sing or anything like that either one of you my mom can sing mm -hmm. my dad not so much. He likes to try. <laughs> but, you know, he can, like, hold a tune, but he's, like, he likes to sing by himself. He would never sing in That's front of That's hilarious. But my mom did, like, a lot of choir and sang at weddings for extra money and, and yeah. stuff like that. But for me, I, so the beautiful thing about art, like, just friendship and partnership and all, all the things, Tay is, like, the dreamer like head in the clouds in the most <laughs> amazing way where she will like envision the biggest dream and go, go for it and mm. get there. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm a big dreamer too, but I'm super like the logistics. Yeah. I have to like, you need the steps. Yeah. I need to <laughs> yes. know. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do this to get to here to, and she's like, no, we're just going to do it. And so I it's this it. perfect That's way. Awesome. Cause like for me, I had like backup plan, A, B, C, D yeah. all the way down the mm -hmm. alphabet. Um, after we decided to move to Nashville, I got my diploma senior year. Yeah. Um, five days after I got my diploma, moved up to Nashville, and we just were writing like two or three times a day every day for about a year. Yeah. Um, and just building up our catalog of songs to present. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, and Tay was like, we're doing this. And I'm like, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> oh, my God. You need both sides, though, right? Yes, because so I, I would not have moved to Nashville if Tay wasn't so like, I'm going. I'm like, okay, well, then I guess I'm going because we are a team. So then we moved to Nashville and... Yeah. Then God kind of just 
took over the rest. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So I did watch your Reframed, which yes. I think is fantastic. Thank you. And in it, you were quite nervous when you moved, right? Oh. Yeah. And like got homesick. And I cried every day for six months. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I think people typically are like, I moved to Nashville and, d- and it's so exciting. So awesome. And yeah. that was probably more of your experience. Tay yeah. was just so excited. Yeah. And I was just freaking out. Like yeah. I just felt Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Yeah. I just, I think the reality set in of like, oh my gosh, I'm a thousand miles away from home. I have no one. I have Tay and that's it. Mm-hmm. And I like, I can't just be. And oh, really oh. no plan B. Like at no. that point. Yeah, yeah. The plan B was gone. I yeah. had nothing else. And so I just like, I just felt so lonely and like it, it sounds so fun, but in the reality of it, that was, that was like when I really started my relationship with God. Like yeah. I've always had a relationship with God since I was a little girl, but like, talking to him every day because I was so lonely. I was like, Lord, it seems like it's just you and I. So let's have a (laughs) chat. Did you guys (laughs) guys live together when you moved here? We lived close to each other. In the same complex. Yeah. Yeah. And that was actually something that I'm glad that we did. We already knew how to give each other space. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I think if we were like living together and everything, that's just too much. Too much. Yeah. And also Maddie is deathly allergic to cats. And at the time I had my like childhood cat living oh, with no me. Way. And so, so I couldn't <laughs> go over there because I'd be so sick. So if I was like having a meltdown, I'd be like, I'm just going to have allergies because I just need to be <laughs> so <laughs> But that explains why you were lonely too. I feel like there's a reason you like go to college at 18 and live with like four girls in the oh, same yeah. like room basically because mm-hmm. being alone is hard. Being being Especially lonely at that age. Is, oh, it's yeah. so hard. And like my now husband, I was dating then mm-hmm, right. and, you know, not being close to him was hard. And like, I mean, yeah. you definitely have to sacrifice a lot. I, every, anyone that like chases down a dream, not even just music, like in general, mm-hmm. if you're not down to sacrifice, like mm-hmm. just about everything, then just do something else. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I think, I think that's what will separate you from. Like, yeah. Yeah. It makes you great. You know, mm-hmm. it really does like being able to figure out Persevere. what that is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And y'all truly are the best of friends. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. My, and a I love sister. That. I'm a not going to lie. I asked Haley. I'm like, come on. Are they really that <laughs> close? Know. And she's and like, no, seriously, they're best friends. And, yeah. you know, I don't know what that is because a lot of people don't see that. I don't know no. if it's like reality TV does, you know, with the women fighting or I, I don't know what I, it is. I think it's the horror stories of duos. Like literally you I just think it see is. them breaking up left and right. Like yeah. they don't hardly ever last. Like right? in like, you know, trios. And oh stuff. yeah. Like if Tay and I had, God forbid something happened, we had to choose our friendship over our career. Yeah. Friendship. We, that's 100%. what we put it first. I mean, yeah. especially that's that was awesome. like huge for us in 2020. It was like, no yeah. matter what happens, our friendship mm-hmm. is number one always. Yeah. Like yeah. we make time now after quarantine for our friendship yes. like yeah. we'll do double you know dates with our husbands and stuff like yeah. that but as long as we're locked in yeah everyone and we feels locked don't in. talk about work most of the time no like, we good. never oh, do you, you need a break yeah. Yeah. Are, your, are your husbands close friends or yeah they yeah, have they, fun they together get along great. sometimes yeah. like I'm worried they're going to get into trouble. So we do <laughs> supervise, especially with Tay's Supervised. brother when it's Jonah, Josh and Mason. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's it's funny. so much fun. No but telling. You just never know what they're going to get into. Very That's true. hilarious. Yeah. And y'all did, y'all got married like within what, six months of each other? Three months. Three months. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So me and my husband got married in November and then her and Josh were February. Yep. How so was right that planning the yeah. the weddings at, like together? Y'all, I'm assuming y'all well, literally planned them together. It was hers was yeah. a lot faster than ours. Yeah. So we we actually planned for about a year and a half because mm-hmm. um, we were trying to plan around the Carrie Underwood tour. Right. Um, but then once Tay got engaged, they were kind of like so. By the time they were planning, we were already done planning. Right. So gotcha. it wasn't too crazy. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Did we, you plan on tour? No, Maddie had to. Oh, yeah. oh you did. Highly yeah. Don't recommend. Wait, you got off the Carrie Underwood tour, what, like? Two weeks October. before our wedding. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So it was crazy. It's, wow. I mean, it was the most magical, exciting year ever, but it was still just we like. Y'all both look gorgeous. Aww, I mean, thank you. beautiful. I enjoyed watching y'all on I, Instagram through the whole thing. Thank you. I'd love to redo our wedding day again. Like, relive it. Not redo it. Mm-hmm. Relive yeah. it. Because yeah. it was so freaking fun you know what's yeah. so funny is i never won- wanted a wedding and even after having one i still could do without a wedding yeah really i don't Tay know what never wanted one but yeah so why did you end up doing it my hubby wanted one did and, I, yeah. and looking back i i do love the fact that everyone that we love was in the same room and got mm-hmm. to celebrate and witness our connection our commitment to each other and god yeah but 
I don't know if it could if it was just Josh and I, I would be totally fine. That's she all I eloped. needed. That's all I needed was Josh. Yeah. 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 I always envisioned my like I didn't really care that much about like the dress or the flower. Like yeah, you were not a bridezilla. Right. You were so <laughs> not. I just, like, I just wanted an epic dance party. That's all I. Re- oh. I mean, obviously, like get married. Everyone say the yes. things. Yes. There were, yeah. there were champagne glasses broke on your dance floor. So I, I broke it. Got a I <laughs> broke it. And then I changed into my white Crocs. Uh, um, I love and it. everyone I love was it. like, oh, my God, she's wearing white Crocs with her <laughs> wedding yeah. dress. I'm like, yes. you don't know me, but this is me here yeah. right now. Like this expensive ass dress. With I some love Crocs. it. That's it's my so vibe. cute. <laughs> that is so fun. But, but yeah. then like COVID kind of hit right after you guys. Right got after. Married. Are, right? Yeah. The day mm-hmm. that we got. So we got married on a Friday, left for our honeymoon on a Monday, came back like a week later. And the day we landed, we actually flew to New York to do press. And that was the first time I ever heard of the word coronavirus. And I was yeah. like, what yeah. is happening? It was like March I, 3rd or something. Mm-hmm. And I was just waiting for her to get back. I'm like, she is coming in too. I was like, I for one week. Crap what is storm. happening? <laughs> the tornado happened. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Right before. Yeah. It was so crazy. Yep. That was yeah. that was horrible. How did y'all manage as far as with COVID and obviously shows being canceled and, and things like that? How did that how did y'all manage? I think you I took it a lot harder I than I did. Definitely did. did. Yeah. I when I found out that tour was canceled. There's a picture I took of myself. Why do we take pictures of ourselves when we cry? First <laughs> I of do all, that too. I, d- I do, and After I don't know therapy, why. Sometimes I'm like, oh my god, my face looks awful. Let me take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all, what's up, Jamie? We're gonna have face. to start. I know. <laughs> okay, and so it's just we'll have a thing, shared right? iCloud photo folder for this of all Cry. of our crying oh, pictures. Yes, normalize But it. sometimes I'll be like scrolling back and showing someone a picture, and I'm like, whoa, that was a rough period. <laughs> but I took it so hard. I think. You know, for me, that was like, there's a lot of moments in life where you kind of have to untangle the web of I'm not what I do. I am who I am regardless. Mm -hmm. And when I found out tour was canceled, I just had a breakdown. Mm -hmm. I was so sad. I felt like I remember that we had just gotten our momentum back and like we had we were putting out our second record, which was five years in the making. And and Die from a Broken Heart was starting to do well. So then we're like, oh my God, is that gonna get taken away too? And I took it really personal, even though it was Mm -hmm. happening to every single artist known to me. And human in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So I you know, one night Josh was like, Who is Taylor? Not Tay. You know, yeah. not Taya, Maddie and Tay, who I was Taylor. And so I texted like seven of my closest people. And I said, can you give me a couple words that you think describe me mm-hmm. non-music related? And so many people had just beautiful, you, you <laughs> called me brave. Yeah. And like um, so many words that just like filled my cup and reminded mm-hmm. me that I, I'm, I You're am more who than I that. am. Yeah. 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 And that's I, what got me through. Awesome. I would say my moment like that in our career was whenever um, our label had shut down. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, I think it's the fear of the unknown. Yeah. That yeah. really freaks me out and fear of failure. Those are the yeah. two that like really still I have to practice like every day. But I think like our poor world, like just the unknown and the yeah. uncertainty. And yeah. like I just felt, uh, I felt gratitude every day that I could pay my bills and that I had a right. roof over my head. And it really, for me and my husband, we really appreciated mm-hmm. things differently. We appreciated time with family. We appreciated our health. We appreciated, you know, all these things. And so it did kind of put things into perspective. Yeah. It did, but yeah. I do think it's very, I think everyone felt what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think I just experienced, I had to untangle the, I'm not what I do a little bit sooner because it was driving me crazy. I was like, yeah. I'm only Maddie of Maddie and Tay. And then I'm like, no, like I'm but it's such an important lesson. I, yeah. I did the same thing when COVID started. Like yeah. my business is Nashville guru. And so we we're restaurants, we're events, we're like, that is our yep. business. Yes. I've been doing it for 10 years. Like you guys had. And so it's yes. like, I was like, wait a second, something you built. If I'm not mm-hmm. working. What am I? And I'm a mom and I'm a wife and I'm all these things, but like, but I like find myself. Abby, yeah. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. But it's so good because you realize like we're not in control, you know, no. and that's okay. No. Yeah. Really. And you know what? Our biggest success came from being still mm-hmm. the year yeah. of being still was when die from broken heart went number one. Mm-hmm. And we that's awesome. didn't do anything to make it go. Number one. It was just meant to be I mean, such a great song. That's that's why it went Thank um, number one. Thank you. Thank but the you. odds were stacked, yeah. y'all. The mm. odds against that song, like if you, if we all go back and look, I mean, 
the odds are insane. It took yeah. so long. It had, it was on country radio for like a year and a half before mm. it peaked. Like yeah. typically wow. a ballad from a female in the summertime, it's like a death sentence typically mm. for a single on the radio. Yes. Mm. And God was like, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, do you think it's because COVID though, and people were like listening to lyrics in a different way and it Maybe. wasn't like this fun summer of like, we're out partying and drinking like, and like maybe yeah, yeah. i think because we asked these deeper questions like can you die from a broken yeah. heart how can he sleep at night like is this always gonna hurt so bad like those mm-hmm. questions yeah. that you ask your mom or like whoever it is that you mm-hmm. look yeah. up to and it just creates deeper self-reflection mm-hmm. i think totally and sure. and yeah. y'all y'all right Y'all wrote that song. Yes. Do y'all write majority of your songs? We Everything. Do. Yeah. Everything. We've only ever cut one song that we didn't write. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And you do it by life experiences and things like that? We know no other way. That's, I know. Oh, my God, that's y'all. Incredible. I got really bit in the butt by that whole thing because <laughs> we um, we wrote a song about something really personal to me and I wasn't ready to really share it with anyone. Like sometimes when you write a song, it just feels like yours Mm -hmm. and you kind of want to just hold it here Mm -hmm. for a second and then share it with the world. Especially when you're in the middle of it. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah. That's the hard thing when you're like walking through the pain or walking through whatever, working Mm -hmm. through it. And then you you turn it into art and you're like, wait, I'm not ready for this. Oh my gosh. I'm still, you know, healing. And yeah. But but yeah, we went into the studio and I was like, I'm not ready for this. And I just sobbed the whole way through recording the song. And I was like, that's what I get for writing about real life. Damn it. (laughs) But But that's the, that is the beautiful part of it is because it is so emotional and it's so real. Like that's the one thing I love about you guys. I met y'all when we first moved here five, six years ago. Yes. And Haley told me about y'all. Now, when I moved from Florida like honestly I wasn't wasn't country music like yeah. I didn't Brett Eldridge sat in my suite I want to say the second or third game of our first season wow I didn't know who he was yeah <laughs> you know I had to much? google him people love <laughs> that that's as, hearing as oh my God. in that position uh, yes. I love when people don't know too. Oh, I, I felt bad uh, <laughs> no no he, he probably it's so it. nice yeah. to not be like ah can we get a picture you know like mm. just to like hey I'm yeah. so nice to meet you what yeah. do you do what do you do and it's like sometimes on planes when people ask that they're like what do you do and I'm like I own a touring company. That's what I always go with because I'm like, I feel like it's going to get weird if I Honestly, when pe- sometimes yeah. when people ask me what my husband does, I'm like, oh, he's in sales. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> you just don't want you the 5,000 questions. You, you know? don't. It's just like so much. And yeah. that's what, when I met your manager, yep. Haley, yes. um, and we became fast friends just like yeah. the y'all did, you know. Yeah. Um, she told me that she managed y'all, and then I met y'all immediately after. Yes. And what I can say about y'all is what you look on camera and the way y'all speak, that's truly y'all. Like, Thank you. you are Thank so you. genuine. Thank you. So being 15 years old, all of a sudden getting this limelight, you can't tell. It did not go really? to your head whatsoever, oh, you know? And that's that's amazing. Sometimes. I know. Sometimes it's a bad thing. Because we don't feel like superstars. No. It's <laughs> like... It's like you're supposed to go on stage and be like, you're a star, you own, and like, but in reality, like that stage presence is not, I mean, it's a part of us, but it's not mm-hmm. like who we are in yeah. our everyday life. Like yeah. some people get so like, oh my gosh. And I'm just like, what? What's wrong? Is there, oh, oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hi, I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you. Oh, right. <laughs> I was thinking like maybe there's a bug or something. <laughs> like, you know? But, um, but I just think that, um, our job requires a lot. It demands a lot of attention. I just don't want to give up who I am for no. that. No, you know, like, I it's don't the wanna... only way to stay sane. I, I feel know. Like. Yeah, T and I are always like, if one of us starts getting too big for our britches, we will knock each other down. Like, yes. And yeah, it's never exactly happened. Right. No. Like, we never get, or like if I say something, Tay's like, is that your ego or is that like really you? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's the ego. You're so right. Yeah, like we check awesome. each other. We yeah. do like... You know, a, a gentle it. check. I feel gentle like we do check. that. Yeah. <laughs> a gentle check. Love it. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. So y'all funny. were pretty much love at first sight. I know yes. we oh, yeah. were. Abby and I, we, I'll tell you a cute story because we haven't said it yet. We interviewed a, a couple of people to be my co-host. And one of the things I told um, someone that was doing the interviewing with me, I told her, I was like, we're going to do a test. I said, I'm going to order a cocktail at lunch and order one with me so that way I'm not alone. And let's see who orders one. 
because I like my wine. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I mean, that's a part yes, of me. Girl. Hey, my wine and reading. That's my love. <gasps> oh, <laughs> girl, See, that's, that's what you know. Oh, 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 oh. I literally spent two hours in McKay's bookstore yesterday. Oh. So this is like Nashville natives. McKay's I books. I love yes. it. Gotta go there. Okay. So we, we went to Restoration Hardware and they had the best Bellinis there. So <gasps> I have never eaten there. Are you serious? serious? Yeah. Oh, y'all have to. It's have amazing. Okay. Let's go have brunch. So and yes. the Bellini, what kind is it? It's a I peach. I think it was peach. It's oh. a peach Bellini. Yeah. Delicious. I ordered one. Carly ordered one. And Sure enough, Abby ordered one, and I'm like, like yes. Yeah. She and then we fun. couldn't stop talking. It was just, yeah. oh, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I got out of there. I called Carly, and I was like, this is it. I was like, we found her. <laughs> don't we you found love, her. I love that as was, women. Yeah. I don't know if men also experience this, obviously, because I'm not a man. But women, we have that, like, gut intuition thing yes. mm-hmm. that is, like, our superpower. Mm-hmm. And oh, sometimes absolutely. it's my worst enemy. Like, I will literally have physical, like, problems oh, yeah. with my stomach mm-hmm. if my if something doesn't feel right and I'm like uh something ain't right here like yeah. I will feel it in my gut but I think it's one of our many totally. female superpowers yeah. like you know when you meet someone and you're like heck yeah locked in like yeah mm-hmm. this is someone that I want to dedicate time to and yes. spend time with and then there's some people where you're like <gasps> Got a blast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my sister says. Got, Is it hard blast. for y'all to make friends outside of the yeah. Yeah. music world? It, it used to be for me, but I feel like... You're the social butterfly I now. What know. happened? You know what's interesting? I'm the hermit now. <laughs> I, I was kind of taught to fear women because yeah. and I was sort of taught that they would always be jealous and I should be intimidated or like you know that they just wouldn't be genuine connections but mm-hmm. Maddie was the first girl I know that, that I met that I was like this person doesn't want anything other than just friendship and connection yeah. with me and then from then like having friendship with you I because it was hard for me to make friends in school. But yeah. when I moved to Nashville, I like, I have so many friends now. And oh. I, if I would have told my like 15 year old self that I would You're just gonna? have be surrounded by such strong, empowering women, I would have been like, no way. Yeah. But, but awesome. I am. I love making friends now. Yes. I yeah. can't imagine going to high school with 40 people. I mean, you don't really have a selection of no. friends. Exactly. So you either love them or you hate them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then yeah. like the odds of there being mean girls in there are mm-hmm. real high. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. just, it sucks that that's like, a rite of passage like my sister-in-law she is 16 my husband's one of five so Mm -hmm. um she's the youngest and she is the only one that hasn't had to deal with mean girls in high school maybe we're learning maybe we're all i think we are learning and i'm just like thank god it doesn't stop i'm older than all three of you and it doesn't it's just not cute like why are we doing that but does your daughter experience it or has it gotten better you know, it comes and goes. Mm-hmm. It, so far, um, so far, it's been fine for yeah. yeah. both of Good. them. I think Good. we're all more educated and mm-hmm. we're educating. Yes. Like, I have a six-year-old and she already has girl stuff. And, like, you <sighs> just, not drama, but, like, you know, you compare it to each other. and oh, you, yeah. And it's, like, True. I think the moms are now teaching the kids. Yes. Like, no, you're, you're not, happy your for them. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah. Celebrating because, others. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Good mama right yeah. there. Both but I hope y'all. I hope we can end that cycle because it's Me so too. true. And Me I'm glad too. you're finding that people aren't jealous and they're I just know. genuine. Yes, yes. And that's Nashville though too. Yeah. Yes. I, I think, think so too. I yeah. think and I feel like you attract like what you give out is what you're gonna get back. So like totally. grumpy people are probably gonna attract more grumpy oh, people. For sure. yes. Like your vibe attracts your good tribe. happy vibes. <laughs> like yeah, what yeah, what your is it? Your again? vibe attracts your tribe. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's like, like that. the most Pinterest quote, but it's so I true. Know, it's just get it tatted on us right here. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> and my tribe is Tay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh my I do gosh. have friends. I just I don't know if y'all feel this way. This question for the class. I feel like your time. Like, I really like to be intentional about who I'm giving my time to. And not to be, like, my time, but just, like, you know, that's energy that that's you're giving. True. Yeah. And if it's someone that maybe depletes you of your energy, is it worth it? That You know, like, exactly. those kind of things. I feel like all of us after quarantine, 
and maybe I'm generalizing, but I feel like I'm a lot more particular about like who I'm spending my time with, yeah. you know? Oh yeah. You should. It's no, part of getting so older. True. It's like, yeah. too, yes. you're just like, I don't have time for people that aren't yeah. happy for me and like, give me energy and I, I leave feeling energized. Yeah. I need a nap. I need a nap. Yes. Like, I don't need BS. I know. <laughs> yes. Especially Always the mamas time. over here. Y'all really need that. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what I'm complaining for. <laughs> well, that's oh. the thing. It's like, like this weekend, I was shuttling to concerts. I was shuttling to the Williamson County Fair and I'm oh. like, oh my God. You know, it's just you don't have time. So when you do have time to do something, you need to make it meaningful. Exactly. Yes. Like intentional. Exactly. That's what I told. um, So Haley, for people that don't know, that is our manager. She's our ride or die. Mm -hmm. She's the reason that we have gotten this far in our career. Her and JT, that team is just amazing. And I'm glad that we snagged them up. (laughs) Um, We started this thing um, with Haley where we like to uh, like name the year Uh where um, like 2020 was the year of stillness. So like just being still and letting be what it is. And I feel like this year is all about intention, like career moves, like who you're spending your time with, um, books I'm reading, like everything. It's almost like too much. But I yeah. like intention. I like yeah. to be intentional, you know? Yeah. So what kind of books do you like? Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Go. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I'm well, all next time we are having wine at this, because I can totally have a glass of wine We could book club it so hard. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, yes. So Tay and I are going to, are we still going to start our book? Oh, together? yeah. Okay. <gasps> I got to download it on my Kindle. Yes. So it's one oh, of the. Oh, you're reading one. I thought you yes. were going to write one. Y'all need you should to write that one. Too. That's on you, my book. Yeah. Yeah. That's all Maddie. I want to write a memoir before I'm 30. Which is a little ridiculous because I'm 26 and I only got four years so but you know I'm just trying to manifest you have a lot of time yeah yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah. but um okay we're gonna start this book called the sanitation or something. I don't know, but it's the scary. Reese's. You know what I'm talking about? Like I'm that gonna read it with hotel. y'all. I have it on my bookshelf. <gasps> yes. I'm gonna read it with y'all. Okay, do. And yeah. I'm. I need a book next. So right now, I'm reading uh, the people that we meet on vacation. Yes. Like that. Did you I read heard that, that one? No, but I heard it's amazing. Even my 16 year old said, "Mom, I see that on TikTok. It's supposed to be a good book." I'm yeah. Like what? Zion. Wait, what? How do you I know, know this? I love. I'm gonna read it with y'all. I'm gonna read it next. Tay is your self help queen. Yeah. Psychology good, stuff. That's gonna be Tay's book. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, I love like a thrillery kind of thing. You and Jamie are on the same page. Oh, I love a thriller. <laughs> like reality TV. She's like, oh, reality yeah. books. Did like you read self-help. the Jessica Simpson book? I did. No, I haven't. Girl. That was the best. You would love it. It's it was so awesome. good. Even if you're not like a huge Jessica Simpson fan, it's mm-hmm. so beautifully okay. written. It's great, yeah. Um, but yeah, I actually I'm, listen to it, which I enjoy oh, wow. because she's the one that narrates it. Yes. Oh, she does? Oh, yes. That's, that's nice. cool. She that was about, really neat. She talks about cool. hard things in that she book. She sure does. Really? Mm. Man, sure okay. that's impressive. Um, right. But Gotta yeah, I, <laughs> I'm a big thriller person. I used to be like a romance rom-com and then I don't know. I just haven't. I don't know. I just feel like I can always call the endings. Yes. And that's what oh, I like watch yeah. Lifetime yeah. or something for. I kind of want <laughs> right. my books to be. Yeah. You know, totally. Crazy. Sometimes it's, I still like the rom-com only for like, especially the beach. Cause I'm like the escapism. The is escape. Nice. Exactly. Did you read something in the water? Did I? Oh my gosh. I have every, I want to say I did. Was it whenever the, I don't want to spill it. Whenever it's somebody drowned. No one's drown. Oh, maybe someone did. No drown. one be drowning. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, but I think someone does drown, but I can't remember when. But basically, In this love. couple goes on a honeymoon and finds like a duffel bag of like all this money and crazy <gasps> stuff. Oh, okay. No, cool. I have okay. I can get down we with that. Get into that. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I okay. read it at the beach. That's what made me. Think mm. about I have yeah, not read that one. Do you read between music videos and recording For real? Or I writing I don't and want, like I don't what is this read. happening? Um. On the bus in the bunks. Oh, yeah. Now that touring is starting back okay. up. So now, since we're going on tour with Brett mm-hmm. Young this year, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have so many books to read because yeah. I don't have time at home. Yeah. Because yeah. we're working even when we're home and then, you know, on yeah. the road and stuff. But sometimes I'll sneak in, like, I'll get in bed early and be like, oh, I'm so tired. And then I'll go read for like two hours and just, <laughs> yes. like, <laughs> I love it. Nerd I, it I up. need to hear about the woman you got video because it looked like it was a blast yes and that was their <laughs> hubbies that was in it yes yes I yeah. love that but what is that house that that's um it's actually i think a wedding venue but it's oh. called the cherokee dock estate and they have weddings there but it's like literally a giant property with 
houses and pools, mm-hmm. but it's Reba McIntyre's old house. Oh, it is. Because oh, yeah. that, that closet, Insane, I was like, right? that has to be something. Yeah. Like a history. Closet of yeah. my dreams. Okay. It was I so mean, fun. It's the Hannah Montana closet. Like yeah. for us, Hannah Montana was such a big deal yeah. whenever yeah. we were like in high school. Like we were a little too old to be watching Hannah Montana, but we still watched it. <laughs> for sure. Um, but <laughs> she had that rotating yes. closet. And yep. so it was like, we got to live out our dream. For but me, it was Clueless. Or no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yes. yes. I love Clueless. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Clueless. Legally Blonde. It. Those yes. two, actually Clueless, Legally Blonde, and... You did um, Risky Business. Is yeah, Risky yeah. Business. Yes. Like, there was a lot of, like, film um, inspiration. Uh-huh. But basically, Tay and I wanted to make it, like, just because the whole song, Woman, you got, is just about, as women, we have so many layers. There's so many facets to us. Like, it's amazing, but it's a lot. Mm-hmm. And we know it's a lot. And yeah. so we just wanted to, like, showcase the most extra versions of ourselves, like, cooking in the kitchen to, like, wearing stilettos in this Chanel outfit dogs oh my gosh it was so terrifying on my Instagram (laughs) there's like a there's like a little series of photos of me almost eating it because it's like cobblestone with (laughs) high heels and these dogs were like actually pulling us and I was just like they were yeah and the director just kept yelling like straight face like superstar looks sexy and we're like sweating (laughs) and (laughs) just like trying not to die (laughs) like oh my gosh it's not as glamorous as it looks but it it was so fun bringing that song to life oh my gosh it's such a good song thank you you. when you're sitting on the counter in the kitchen thank you my sweats oh I would love that that's that's my dream outfit just (laughs) sweats I love it if we could live in that like if we could perform in that that'd be great but yeah. it's just not like you kind of have to not show yet. up maybe in a couple years i mean we'll i feel like it. you have to dress for the job yeah. you want like i don't know <laughs> yeah. where i heard that and no, it's like probably a couch some... potato it's not what i'm going for <laughs> abby and i were actually texting this morning we're like okay what are you wearing what are you wearing and then i'm like i don't have clothes anymore i mean i have clothes yeah. but number one covid is the you said it's the stillness year it was the eating and drinking year girl so now I'm i got like, you ah. quarantine 15 yeah. and it's <laughs> I, find, I got it off and so yeah it's it took a while so we're like we we've got to do some shopping because we know. can't do this in sweats I felt that same <laughs> way like right when March started coming around I'm like okay so when we're actually gonna go I need some clothes we had no heads up I was pale I <laughs> needed clothes so typically in the beginning of the year we kind of game plan like January, February, and March are typically for us like gearing up. For yeah, the year. gearing okay. up for the year, whether it's an album release or recording gotcha. music, and kind of like planning out our year. So once Haley was kind of like, "Hey, this is what the scoop is in March," I was like, "I need some clothes. Mm. Gotcha. I ain't got yeah, no yeah, clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do, like you said, but yeah. just and you know, I feel like." I have such PTSD from the beginning of our career whenever we had no money because I would wear the same outfit like a lot. Our and fans were ruthless. They, they were would, like, oh, my God, Maddie's wearing that same maroon shirt. Nuh-uh. I'm like, dang, I haven't been home in six months. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would really oh, say yeah. That. yeah, but I think they weren't like our real fans. It was just people online. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't have the money. How yet. do you guys deal with that, though? I bet. It's hard. It's I kind of just stopped reading comments, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I just don't take it personal. I realize that, like, people that treat people that way that they don't even know yeah. are in a lot of pain. Yeah. Hurt and that makes me people. sad for them. Yeah. Like, yeah. it makes me more sad. I, trust me, I want to, like, throat punch mm-hmm. all of them. Oh, I bet. But, like, and not just for me, just for if I see yeah. ugly comments, I'm just like. But projection is real. Yeah. It is so real. Mm-hmm. And so, literally, what Susie says about Sally says more about Susie mm-hmm. than it does Sally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But That's, I appreciate it's a tongue twister but (laughs) you know i feel like i learned that when i was like in third grade but it's so true like if Mm -hmm. someone's saying something it's the way they feel about themselves so every time we read those comments it's like oh they're having a hard time but you know what's awesome about our fans is they go after them before we even see it like they are so sweet and protective and like they will be like They'll message us like, I reported that account and I blocked him and da 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 da. I'm like, oh, yeah. yes, girl, That's you awesome. get him. Yeah. So it is really, really sweet. Our our fans are just like good, sweet, kind yes. people. I miss them. I, I can't wait to like go out on That's tour awesome. this year and go and see them and hang out. I wish, you know, we can't really do meet and greets and stuff like that with COVID, but mm-hmm. at least we'll get to do live music, yeah. which is yeah. good. Have y'all ever had like the stalker situation? Because that's something that I... You know, I I think about a lot, you know, with my daughter having Instagram and both daughters, actually. Yeah. No. Uh, We haven't had any bad stalkers, but I mean, I don't know. No. We've had it pretty, pretty chill. Yeah. I don't think we attract that many crazy. Well, in my personal (laughs) life, like 
just in general when I go to the store. Maddie like, attracts. Oh, I I attract the things. weirdest, most odd people. Yeah. And I just they just want to like, talk to you. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've had that because they know who you are. Or they're no. just no. random. Just it's think, literally my whole I think life. It's a like, cancer thing. Like you're just. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is. Like I'll sit at the nail salon and I'll get, you know, sat next to some lady and she'll just be like, I just got a divorce. And I'm just like, oh, my God, oh, I nice. don't know you. What's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's it's really weird. You're too nice. Yeah. I have to, I've been trying to practice my um, give like us your RBF. best RBF. Yeah. Go. I just. No, like, I got nothing. Oh like God. I just can't do it. It's awful. <laughs> my face looks too like. I come talk to you. And I don't own it. It's, you know? it's what I love about you. It's cute. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. a good thing. I know. Oh I have a gosh. lot of like crazy travel stories, like taking care of strangers' babies and then puking on me. Oh stop! Oh my yeah. gosh! Then I yeah. got I got puked on twice in 2018 on planes, and I was it's just a rough like, travel God. Year for you. Were you holding the baby, or yes. was it next to you? So should I tell the story? Yeah. This is an interesting road story, yeah, shall we? Yeah. Um, so long, this is a very long story. Long story short, our guitar player broke his leg on a glacier in, in Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh. Uh -huh. That's a lot no. heard that, in right? one sentence. <laughs> yeah. He broke his leg, had to be life lighted to the hospital, emergency surgery. We Indeed. played a, two shows without a guitar player. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. It was just like traumatic experience Indeed. altogether but so on the way back he was cleared from the hospital to get back to the states and we needed to get him back to get into another surgery yada yada and so i, w I didn't want him to get blood clots in his leg and he had to like give put himself he had to put a shot in every like 30 minutes or something oh so he wouldn't get blood clots. Oh my yeah gosh. to keep blood clots from happening yeah. was this whole thing so I thought I was doing the Christian thing and I gave him my first class seat yes. and I took his <laughs> economy seat. Yes. No good deed. It goes unpunished. Okay. <laughs> so I go back and it's a young couple with a baby and I'm like, oh, got this in the bag. I'm a baby person. A I baby serve with her in the, oh, in yes. the Come over. kids. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> I love babies. I love teaching them at church. Like yes. All the things. So the baby is like super squirmy and, you know, just like, wah. And they're trying to put the baby to sleep. And so I'm like, hey, I nannied for about six years. Like, if y'all need to eat your dinner or whatever, like, I'm happy to help with the baby. And they were kind of like, what? And then the baby was just so, like, out of control that they were like, can you? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And so I'm, like, rocking this baby. And the flight attendant's like, oh, did you have a kid? I'm like, no. And they're like, whose kid is that? And I was like, this lady over here. And I'm just, like, rocking <laughs> oh this baby. God. So I get the baby to sleep. And they're, like, super appreciative, whatever. Oh, and so job. I'm like taking care of this baby for about four hours or just helping yeah. the parents Ooh. because I'm sitting right there. Like I just right. feel like it's going to be a better experience for me if I help them put the baby sure. to sleep, whatever. Yeah. Sure. And so at the end of the flight, just baby's stomach was upset oh and just gosh. Poof, all threw up all over you. me. Oh. Had to throw away my favorite jacket. Oh I was my so gosh. sad. Oh yeah. my gosh. So those are like, that's like one of the many crazy stories on the road. It, it is fun. But like, that's so nice. You're so sweet. Yeah. Oh. That's like a kind thing to do. Right. You know, right. She's got I a just, drool on her crown. I think I'm becoming less kind <laughs> because I just, I'm like, it this backfires, backfires every yeah. time. It totally <laughs> backfires. Oh my gosh. Tell us about the tour. Tell us, when does it start? Yes. And and actually, Brett Labor texted Day us weekend. today. Yeah. Um, yeah, Labor Day weekend. It starts off in Palm Springs. Caliville, I think. Um, that's the kickoff, which is Brett shebang and i'm so excited it's definitely gonna be fun and interesting and a different way than we're used to touring okay, yeah. but we're so hungry to play live music and the fans are so hungry to see it that mm -hmm. we're just grateful yeah. how is it different just like protocols and protocols. stuff yeah. yeah i mean there's like a lot of venues that are requiring vaccinations are requiring a negative COVID test. And mm -hmm. I totally get it. And but normally we do like three meet and greets, like one, two before one after, and mm -hmm. we get to see our fans hug their necks and like have some one-on-one -on -one time, but we don't get to do any of that. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. That's sad. That's sad. But we've been texting a lot with Brett because we're like, you know what, since we can't see them, we just want to bring the best show possible. Yeah. And yes. so we're super excited. We're going to start talking about what kind of what we want to do together yeah. and what the vibe is. And we've kind of put our set list already together and, um, we probably should ask our fans if there's anything that they really, really want to see. Because sometimes we'll leave off a song and they're like, what the heck? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. sorry, dude. We almost <laughs> have three albums. Like, yeah. we're, we're putting out a third album soon. Yep. So, 
Are I'm you like, putting the third album out before or after you tour? After the tour. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So we're shooting for January. Basically. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're, we're doing a photo shoot for the album cover and all, we're kind of putting all the pieces together mm-hmm. right now. So that's from amazing. start the fun to stages. finish, how yeah. long does it take for an album to, to form? It depends. I feel like we wrote a majority of that album right now. We've cut about what 18 songs yeah something ridiculous which we'll we'll scale back and Mm -hmm. and make into one full project but we wrote a majority of the songs in 2020 so that's like a a year Mm -hmm. and then this year we're doing the photo shoot and the album work artwork and everything so another full year so probably like two years it's almost like i think from turning in the album to getting all the assets to getting all the promotion Mm -hmm. like there's so much that goes into it it's probably like a year a year yeah but pro- i think it may take us longer because we write all of our songs mm-hmm. and we're really close that. to it and we're yeah. like super crazy perfectionists yeah. which i think our team loves and hates about us yeah. because yeah. like we have no shame we'll be like this needs to go back and be fixed yeah and, good and That's our good. team i mean they expect greatness from us and mm-hmm. we expect that yeah right of and, course. and it's wonderful because then everyone is just like all on the same page and working hard yep i always feel like if the artist isn't outworking everyone else like something's not right yeah. like it needs to kind of like start from the top down like yeah. the work ethic and then mm-hmm. then it kind of inspires everyone like oh they're working hard they're you know being inspired and having ideas and stuff and then For it sure. kind of just creates a good yeah good juju you know that's awesome so yeah. it was five years between your first and second yes. and then it'll, it'll be only two between these two right yes, yes. so the that's first fun. between the first and the second was a lot of variable change um mm-hmm. that we were not expecting um that's really when we learned how to like catch a curveball like a champ yeah um because the record label closed yes. right is that yep. what yeah. yes and then like that happened and like anything that could fall apart that like year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. did and so we were kind of just it was like a I don't know. I feel like we kind of experienced like 2020 feelings back then because Mm -hmm. we kind of felt like we lost everything and had nothing. Um, And that wasn't the case, but it just felt that way. Yeah. Um, And then we kind of just had to rebuild and restart. And then our second album, it was like perseverance kind of paid off on that one. Yeah. It was a lot of character building for Mm -hmm. sure. In your documentary um, on Reframed, it said that y'all were, y'all were, you were wanting to go home. Yeah. But then your first song, which the video. Growing a, a country, country song. song. That's, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That video is insane. It's oh, so I cute. Know. It's hilarious. <laughs> but it's all ridiculous. of a sudden, that was so ridiculous. Hit, right? It yeah. just all of a sudden took off. Oh, yeah. And you were you, you were homesick at that point. Oh, I was. Yeah. I was. I wasn't ready to like quit. I was just like oh my gosh, is this, and I think every person yeah. that moves to town for the dream that we're chasing feels that way sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like even after you've quote unquote made it, you're always like pushing for the next thing. But I don't think I ever really would have gone home. I think I'm a little too stubborn. Yeah. I think I would have <laughs> stuck it out, but I wanted to go home. <laughs> what is, what is like a piece of advice for, there's so many females wanting to make it in this industry. Mm-hmm. Like do, I'm sure you talk to your fans all the time who are wanting to be where you are like what do you tell them I think time like it's definitely not something that can be rushed like we are almost 12 years in Mm -hmm. to our career and so you have to want it and you have to be willing to sacrifice some of the things that maybe you don't want to Mm -hmm. and networking you just have to know the right people and you have to be in the right rooms at the right time you have to live breathe and eat it it has to yeah. consume every part of you and then mm. it's not always that way it's just that way in the beginning yeah. like you just have to like yes give every ounce of everything to yeah. it and then once you like get that first like foot in the door mm-hmm. then there's not as much pressure it definitely gets like easier over time yeah. but just yeah. the grind in the beginning yeah. Totally. You just Which people don't see, right? Like I always hear people be like, oh, they just overnight sensation, like whoever they're talking about. And I'm like, they probably gigged for like 10 years in for like sure. crappy bars or, you know. Oh, yeah. Y'all sure. did Broadway? Yeah. Well, we yeah. were always too young to play the bars, so we just had to play oh, the street corners. Yeah. Like we would wow. do Puckets like. Puckets would let us play too. Yeah, because it was a family restaurant. No but way. like we were 17, like we weren't even 18. So they really the couldn't Broadway let us. bars, really. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So luckily God protected us from that because I feel like. I don't know. That's a hard environment to be like, that is hard. Those bands are out there for like four hours Mm -hmm. playing the same set, like three times in one night and making like 
maybe a hundred dollars yeah. they're yeah. so good yeah it's crazy <laughs> so they good. are yeah. i know they crazy are talented. i know yeah. so much talent yeah for sure well, i love it y'all are y'all are such an inspiration to so Aww. many girls one thing that i don't know if well i'm sure y'all would remember um my daughter has diabetes and yes. y'all did something for me for jdrf y'all um, I had an ice cream gathering yes. so that way we could donate toward JDRF. And I've never officially thanked y'all for that, Aww, but that was so amazing. And the family that met y'all actually reached out <gasps> and was like, that was, that was the best experience. So oh, thank y'all for oh that. Oh my yeah. Our pleasure. I know. Yeah, yeah. We take, amazing. we take pride in making sure that like when we do have those interactions, like it's a good experience yeah. and memorable and mm. fun and happy and because there's people that look up to us and like absolutely we there's some little girls that we are their hero and i'm yes. like i need to be their hero for like 20 minutes and just yeah you know right i don't know yeah I feel that like was amazing thank that's you. our job <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy and we're sitting down eating ice cream don't yeah. pull our leg like, are you kidding me like <laughs> selfishly loved it yeah. i mean duh <laughs> oh my God. well we appreciate everything for today of thank course. you so much for joining us congratulations on this i know and everything thank, thank you, you. I love, are awesome i love seeing thank women you. just excited. freaking me too yeah. go for it it's, it's an awesome. adventure and it's it's I mean, you know, every time we see each other, we're like, have we known each other before? I mean, this yeah. is like... In a past life. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. Exactly. Crazy. Thank y'all for having yes. us. This was so much Thank fun. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.